Hello Zebrahead, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are continuing through Route 3, making our way to Route 4. If we take a look at the town map, I think we're trying to get to Turfield, is it? Up this way? Uh, yep, Turfield. Hopefully we'll get our first gym training going on there, our gym battle. But uh, for, also, for now, let's talk to you. Hiya, me and my little sister have set ourselves up as a pop-up Pokemon. Oh yeah, that's right, she healed us. Um, so. We're all healed, we're good to go. Last episode, we got started with the Pokemon League and we're able to evolve our first Pokemon dot, you know, from Score Bunny to Raboot and the Gower Mine. Oh, and there's already some new Pokemon in here. Let's get to catching. What in the world are you? <laughs> You're cute, that's what you are, the Woo Bats. All right, we're gonna capture you for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead, you're level 13, we're level 19. So let's start with a double yeah, well that might not be a good idea because I think, isn't fighting good against flying or is it vice versa? Well, maybe flying is good against fighting. Wow, okay, that was pretty good. Our speed rose, you're going to use a tract. We're going to be using a Pokeball though. So, right there, Pokeballs. Come on. And let's see if we've caught our first Pokemon of the day already. Yes, we have. This was Woobat. <laughs> Who have had such a cute Pokemon? And now we have one. So our Pokemon have gained experience points. I've been thinking more, okay, we got lots of levels. On level 19, 16, and 16, of course, for Dot, Jazzy, and Biggie. Or no, we were already level, okay, never mind. Oh, it's just Jazzy and Biggie and him. Um, wait, what, what are we learning? This is Assurance for Biggie. This is a dark type move. If the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack power is doubled. Ooh, so as you can see, it's 60 damage already. So it's pretty comparable to say something like Quick Attack already on its own. This is beat up, the user gets all party Pokemon to attack the target, Snarl. Uh, the user yells as if it's ranting about something, which lowers the special attack stats of the opposing Pokemon. You know what? We're gonna go over Quick Attack, we're all dark now. Good job, Biggie, you got it. <laughs> One, two, and ta-da! Biggie forgot Quick Attack, and it learned Assurance instead. But I've been trying to think about which Pokemon I want to capture next, or at least what types. Because I really think we need at least a water team on our, our water Pokemon on our team. But this is Woobat, who is a psychic flying. It emits ultrasonic waves as it flutters about, searching for its prey. Bug Pokemon. Oh wow, so I guess it hunts up bug Pokemon. I would not like to give it a nickname, because we're probably not going to keep this one. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do either. <laughs> Sorry, all the wrong buttons. Uh, sent to a box. And there we go. Awesome stuff, so there's our first Pokemon. I've caught one of you, right? I actually don't know. Um, I wish there was an easier way to find out. <laughs> um, also, it's requiring me. I do want to go back and get Stunky at some point, but there's also Sizzlepeed and Pancham. Oh man, I want Pancham. Pancham looks super cute. Uh, but Stunky, I definitely want on my team, for sure. Um, is there a... Where can I access my box? I don't know if I can do that from here. Here's my Pokemon. To boxes. Have I caught this little guy? I mean, maybe if I don't know, I should just <laughs> just capture him again. I have one though, the Roly Coley. Okay, so I don't have to worry about it as much. I do want to sort of switch Pokemon around a little bit, but at the same time, it's hard to say for right now. A lot of people are suggesting that maybe I keep Rookity. I don't exactly have anything against it. I just don't know who I'd name Rookity after. I'd have to think about it. Um, but I'm not against it. Okay, let's just fight you. At the least, we'll be able to use our fighting move against you with Dot, so that'll be fine. But I definitely want Stunky, who we'll name Smokey after, and that'll be our fourth Pokemon. We'll have two more slots if we keep Rookity. I mean, maybe I can name after Shawnee. I mean, she coos like a pigeon <laughs> whenever she, she gets pet. Like, she purrs so loudly, it sounds like a pigeon's cooing. So maybe that would work out just fine. I was looking for somebody a bit more fluffy for her, but maybe, we'll, we'll consider it, we'll consider it. For right now, though, uh, we're just gonna keep moving forward. And then finally, I want a water type for Tom. I mean, maybe the turtle will be fine with that. Maybe I will consider the turtle. We have a turtle. You know, maybe, maybe my team's already set in stone. I don't know. <laughs> but w with that being said, I do just wanna keep it in mind. I actually, if that's the case though, cause I'm thinking about it, like the turtle for Tom actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, because he's just, he's a very slow going cat, to say the least. Um, Pokemon. We're gonna go to Gossifler. You've been a wonderful addition to our team, but we need to swap you out. Um, how do I, wait, oh, the boxes? Can I go to the boxes from here? No, I guess, I guess I gotta go to the box. And I should have the turtle, right? I thought I got one, yeah, the Choodle. I'm hoping he evolves into a bigger looking Pokemon, I think. 
That would make sense. Probably like a big tortoise. Uh, change markings? Are these like like different things on them? Oh, okay. No, I don't think so. I th I thought that was like maybe you could change like the color of like his little dots on his face or something. That would have been cool. Uh, move. I want to move you to our team over Gossifler. There we go. Um, so now all we would need is Stunky, which hopefully we can do soon. In the meantime, let's keep going. I don't know if I need to fight everybody here. They'll just keep popping up forever, after all. Oh, hello. This area is so pretty. First off, let's grab this. You found a revive! So I could go two ways here. We'll go to the left first and battle this guy. My work partner and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. Well, are you? We're going to find out. We're going against Worker Keith. I like his five o'clock shadow. Where Keith sent out rock and rolla. Oh, I get it, like rock and roll. <laughs> All right, well, there's gonna be a lot of ground types around here, so we should be in luck with just using fighting type moves, so double kick it is. And that seems to be doing some good work. Rock and roll is weak armor. It's defense foul, but also it speeds rose sharply. Okay, well, with the lower defense, we can hit you and knock you out, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. Interesting looking Pokemon, though. It's super effective. Pokemon was hit two times. Uh, whoa, ho, 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 you got the level six pretty quick there. So we'll just keep Choodle just in case I want to name him Tom. Oh, well, hmm, looks like we weren't in, in sync. I'm sorry. Better luck next time. Also, I wanted to point this out again. I've, I've uh, mentioned it several times, but people keep pointing it out. I don't really refer to, like, I know that the Pokemon have their own genders. Uh, but I really don't pay attention to that in Pokemon games because I wouldn't want to have to spend all this time p catching the Pokemon with the right gender that matches up to the cat that I want to name after. So I just ignore the Pokemon's gender in the game and just refer to them as the gender of my cat is. So that's what's going on there because I've explained it like three times, but people still ask. Uh, we're in perfect sync when we work together though. Well, hopefully you guys can work together at some point. Am I going the right way? I don't know, I sort of want to go back and see what was that other direction. But for right now, we have a Pokeball. Found three Great Balls, a good high performance Pokeball that provides a higher success rate for catching Pokemon than a standard Pokeball. Okay, is that everything? No, this keeps going. Well, where are we, where are we off to? We're up here where there is another Pokeball. This is TM54 Rock Blast. Ooh. The user hurls hard rocks at the target. Two to five rocks are launched in a row. I'll have to keep that one in mind. That seems like it could be useful. In the meantime though, that was everything there. So some cool rewards for uh, defeating this trainer. <laughs> Quite easy to do so. We're still in like the baby steps of the game, I think. There is the other, is that the person she's always in, or he's always in sync with? I like your hair. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. All right, then let's train. This is Worker Georgia. Okay, let's get to it. She sent out Timber. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, you're adorable. Oh, it reminds me of Buizel a little bit, which is like my favorite Pokemon ever. Uh, which one of these does more damage? This does. You are so stinking cute, look at you. And now you gotta go bye-bye. So that's Speed Rose. Gonna use Pound. He's got this big stick. I mean, it's more like a log. Oh my gosh. I don't know, you don't really seem like you match the personality of any of the cats I plan on naming the Pokemon after in the series, but you are so cute. I hope I can catch you at some point. I wonder what he evolves into. He has to evolve into something cool. Are there any Pokemon that do not evolve? Because I was always worried about that. Like, what if I catch a Pokemon that just doesn't evolve? Uh, Worker George is about to send out Timber again. We want to keep our current Pokemon because the fire is working out quite well. I mean, I don't know what type of Pokemon it is, though. <laughs> now that I think about it, let's try Double Kick. I don't think it's a ground type. But it does some good damage. A critical hit. Okay, well, I got lucky then. We'll use the Flame Charge again. Because it didn't say super effective. I just sort of, you know, was like, oh yeah, he's holding a log. Fire would be good against that. But in reality, that doesn't make too much sense. Fight, Flame Charge. Come on now. And that should finish you off. How many timbers does she have? And just such a cute pun. Okay, so Toodle's gonna gain a lot of experience here. Tom to be, maybe. Another timber. I will not change my Pokemon, I don't think. Yeah, I think I'll keep with what I have. I know I've been mostly using Dot. 
But that will change, I promise. It just, it seems like contextually right now, it's just the best move is to keep with the firefighting type. And as time moves forward, wow, that was good. Um, as time moves on, we're going to need these different Pokemon for different type of Pokemon we'll be going against. So, right now though, we're using Ember, and that should finish you off. You couldn't have had more than three. I'm pretty sure this is like our first battle besides going against like Hop, where they've had more than like one or two Pokemon. You made for some good training. And we got 1,400 Poke Dollars, cool. Training is important in all things, preserving with your training, or persevering with your training, is even more important. I agree, gotta keep at it, gotta keep working hard, and get some free stuff. You found TM26, Scary Face. Cool. So which one is this? This is, the user frightens the target with a scary face to harshly lower its speed stat. Interesting, whoa, there was something over here. Bag of Stardust, whoa. Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with a loose, silky feel. It can be sold at a low price at sh to shops. So does it not have any practical use? It's just something to sell? Oh yeah, I already read this. Just needed to make sure. Um, and a couple Pokemon, oh. Why are you glowing? It's a wild woo bat, but what's so special about you? I thought something, but maybe not. Oh, this is not very effective. Okay, so, oh wow, oh wow. Yeah, don't do that. That hit two times. We're about to use confusion. Oh, yikes. How is this? This is effective, but it's not like super effective or anything. It might be worth it to change Pokemon then. Um, yeah, let's view the summary. Well, oh, okay, wait. So normal type moves. Oh no, electric is effective, yeah, because you're flying. And then Dark is super effective. I sort of want to get some action out with Biggie, because we've played with Jazzy a little bit, but I really haven't done much with Biggie. And he's absolutely beautiful. So you know what, we gotta throw him out here. Come on, Biggie. Yeah. They're gonna use Attract, doesn't affect us. Biggie is too much, you know, obsessed with himself to be attracted to somebody else. Uh, we'll do Assurance. I don't, we haven't taken damage this turn, but they will use Endeavor. Oh, now you're in trouble! We took some damage! Oh, hoo, 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 nice! It's super effective, and we're just gonna do it again, because it seems like you're attacking first. You're gonna use Confusion this time. Doesn't affect us. I think he's never confused about anything ever. I don't know if that's actually, I, I, I sort of would argue that. <laughs> okay, well. That is level up for Dot and level up for Choodle. Dot is the big 2-0, level 20. It is sort of funny though, because I believe Dot is our currently our oldest cat. You gained 190 W. Oh yeah, okay, so that's for the uh, the overworld. Interesting. Uh, let's battle you. Working women are good at Pokemon battles too. Well, that's awesome. I wouldn't have guessed anything less. Worker Sandra. And she sends out Diglett. Ooh, okay. So will fighting be good against you? I'm not actually sure. Because I don't think we've fought a Diglett yet in this game. I always forget the uh, association between fighting and ground types, if it's the same as fighting in rock, or if this is a rock or ground type. Rock and ground is so similar that I just get it mixed up all the time. Uh, anyways, there's that done. <laughs> We're done quite well. And that'll be a level up for Rookity. Uh, Drillbur. I'm going to guess Drillbur's like a, a steel type. If so, fighting is good against steel. Oh, you are so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm loving all the new Pokemon in the game so far. So yeah, how will this work? Decent damage, decent. Hit two times. He's just like, oh boy, here I am. Okay, they just did a simple scratch. So Dot, go ahead and kick again. There we go. So this is, this is going pretty well so far. We're running into still tons of new Pokemon, and we're getting level ups for everybody all the time. Biggie's level 17, Wooloo 16, Choodle 10. Oh wait, 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 okay, let's see. Forget an old move for double kick? Who is this for, Wooloo? <laughs> Wooloo can learn fighting type moves? That just seems silly with their tiny little legs. Um, Sure, I don't think we're gonna be keeping Wooloo for too much longer. Okay. So, 
Ooh, it forgot defense curl, and it learned double kick instead. So Trudel Girl level 10. And we defeat a worker Sandra. Your Pokemon, I want to scout them. What is that supposed to mean? I guess sort of watch them and learn from them. <gasps> Whoa, Rookity's evolving already, wow, look at this. What, Rookity is evolving. Okay, so what do you, wow, whoa, you're so cool. Look at that, your Rookity evolved into Corva Squire. Oh, so this this evolves into Corva Knight, doesn't it? Interesting, because that is nothing like Shawnee. <laughs> uh, it's a flying type though. Raven Pokemon, the lessons of many harsh battles have taught it how to accurately judge an opponent's strength. I feel like it'd be a fun, almost oxymoron for Shawnee, because she's sort of the softest cat I know. She's such a little baby all the time. Not in a bad way, but she's just, you know, she's a little baby. Hi, I wanna battle you. Are you the guy who's in sync with the other guy? I was looking around for items, but I found a trainer. He's not very good at looking around for items. There's one literally right next to him. You were challenged by Worker Russell. And he's sending out Roly Coley. Okay, it's good that we have thought out. But maybe that'd be good for like a nice oxymoron. It's, you know, two opposites. Shawnee's a very soft baby cat. I mean, she's not like baby as in young, but you know what I mean, her personality. And Corviknight is like tall and like very sharp and angry looking. <laughs> I think it works out pretty nicely. So maybe we'll go with that. I was thinking Wooloo, but I just don't think Wooloo is a good fit for our team is the problem. I think I need that variety of having a flying type would be nice. All right, level 17 for Jazzy. Because I am starting to get really happy with our team type variety. If only I would used an item effectively when I was in a pinch. I mean, you only got hit once and then you were done. You didn't really even have the chance of that. Use items you pick up. They're, they're like a gift from someone. All right, well we found a pair of heavy duty boots. These boots prevent the effects of traps set on the battlefield. Interesting. Might as well get a couple more battles done with that. But yeah, as it currently stands, we have a fire fighting type, a dark type, electric, water, if we want to do Tom with Choodle, um, flying, and then poison for Stunky. Like, that's pretty good a uh, good balance, if you ask me. So I definitely like the look of that. I would love to hear how your team is shaping up the different Pokemon you have. We got rid of this guy, no problem, super effective. Roly Coley fainted. And we got some extra experience here and there. So Toodle has a lot of catching up to do. But in the meantime, we'll just go ahead and karate kick this guy one more time. It's easy enough, because they're only like level 10, 11, 12-ish. We're level 20 now, like we're so far ahead. I don't know even how, how that happened. It is over time of using Dot so much. Okay. So Roly Coley fainted. Let's keep moving through this whole area. I'm a little low on health, so I'm getting a bit concerned. If we run into another trainer battle, I'm going to have to, uh... oh, more of them are popping up. Oh, 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 no, wait, what? Oh, come on, that's not cool. I wanted him. Let's see, if, let's wait a second. Maybe he'll pop back up. I wanted the little guy with the claws. Will we battle a trainer who had him? Maybe that's why I should run around a bit more or something. Right now, it's just a lot of more roly colies. I don't want to spend too much time fishing for Pokemon. Of course, if there's something we desperately want, we can always come back. <gasps> you, I want you. And oh, the other one behind that was new too. So we we encountered a wild timber. Okay, so fight. It's a, it's all effective, but it's not super effective. We're gonna find out what type of Pokemon you are in just a moment. Okay, that didn't do as much as I was hoping, but that's fine. If we do that again, maybe you'll be at a low enough level that we can a rock throw. Oh, oh, painful, it's super effective. I pr pr should probably switch Dot out, but we're gonna play it risky. Don't get a critical or anything. Whoa, what are you gonna do? Oh no, Dot, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's not gonna be happy with me when she wakes up. All right, use next Pokemon, switch to Jazzy, swap. And let's go ahead and just throw out a Pokeball. We should just be able to use the normal one just fine. Come on, let's get Timber. I need him. Oh, got it, nice. So Timber was caught. 
And we're gonna find out what kind of Pokemon Timber is now. No experience for Dot, unfortunately. But we do get a level up for Toodle again. So, Timber's data will be added to the Pokedex. He is just a fighting type. Plain and simple, okay, I was not expecting that. Timbers, timber that have started carrying logs that are about three times their size are nearly ready to evolve. Whoa. So their log gets longer the higher of a level they get? That's cool, he's two feet tall. I'd not like to give Timber a nickname, even though that is a very cool Pokemon. We're just gonna send you to a box. Okay, so we can battle you. Oh, I actually, actually see an item over here. Let's grab that, that's a revive. And when it comes to our Pokemon, restore, how do I, what does this do? Okay, so yeah, okay, I can use revive six of these, so we, we might as well, we'll be fine. Do that, um, use a potion or two. I'll use another one, there we go. We can always buy more supplies back at the shops whenever we get there. Uh, so, I'm trying to think about who we wanna use for this rock type. Let's swap you with that, there we go. So Biggie's out in the lead right now, so we can take on one of these guys. Because if I use the Karate Kick against them, the Rock and Rollas, we'll end up just hitting them in one hit and just like not getting anything done. So all this is effective, so let's start with Assurance. Because 60 damage is still pretty good as it is. Oh, that really is not very quick. Gonna hit me with Mud Slap, but at least we're doing more damage to them than they are to us. Our accuracy fell though. Let's try beat up. How does this work? I haven't seen this move. Avoided the attack, oh come on. That was baloney. Ouch, oh now they're really taking the lead. I can't mess with that too much. Let's just go with assurance again. Avoided the attack, oh come on. Is it because our accuracy was lowered? Oh no, oh no. I might just have to switch Pokemon again. Uh, Fight, let's try Snarl. Okay, at least that worked. Whoa, whoa, okay, that worked really well. Why did that do so much damage? I'm so confused. You're gonna use Mud Slap, that's fine. What we're gonna do now is just start a Pokeball and catch you. Gotta catch them all. And that includes you, you are part of, part of all. Okay, come on. Yep, there it is. Rog and Rolla was caught. So our Pokemon's gonna get an experience. Nobody gets quite enough of a level up, but that's okay. So let's see Rock and Rolla. I'm guessing this is gonna be a rock type, yep. 40 pounds, wow. When it detects a noise, it starts to move. The energy core inside of it makes this Pokemon slightly warm to the touch. Oh, that's cool. Nope, no nickname. I wanna send you to a box. Okay. Uh, is it holding an Everstone? Place the item in your bag. What is an Everstone? Huh, let's go check that out really quickly. Our bag, and this is key items, ingredients, treasures, TMs, other items. Everstone, an item to be held by a Pokemon. A Pokemon holding this pe peculiar stone is prevented from evolving. Well, I don't want that. Okay, so I'll keep some of those items in mind. We'll have to apply them soon. Uh, we're going to move, whoa, first off, another item. We found an ether. This medicine can be used to restore 10 PP to a single selected move that has been learned by a Pokemon. Uh, whoa, powered up Diglett, we actually, oh, you got in the way. Move out of the way, buddy. Okay, so now we're gonna get Dot out here. I mean, Biggie's out here for right now, so we might as well do this. Uh, but let's try this again, use the Snarl, because that worked really well before. How about this time? Wow, yeah, that's great. And their special attack fell, they're going to use Mud Slap as per usual. It did not do much this time, that's good. That's a very good thing. So, fight, snarl, and then we gotta take on Diglett. You avoided the attack, now is not the time. I don't even wanna be fighting you right now. Okay, well you just rose your defense. Not this time though. Thank you. That's it. You're defeated. Good job, Biggie. One thing I love about this Pokemon, though, is that it looks like he's wearing little boots. It's, it's just so cute. Anyways, yes, now we're going for you. This is Diglett. It was like, it's gonna give us some watts, I guess, if we defeat you. Right, so let's fight. 
And for right now, we'll do, we'll do, uh... Oh, wow. Oh, I should have done the other move, because it would have done extra damage. That hurt. Definitely pretty good. I'm a little worried about this. Let's go ahead and do a... I have three Great Balls. Let's just try this, because they are pretty high on health. But it'll be very good to get a classic Pokemon like Diglett. Yes, we got gotcha. you. Diglett was caught. Good to see it, good to see it. And almost a level up for, for Biggie there. I think that we're about ready to switch Pokemon again. Diglett was added to the Pokedex, of course a ground type. It burrows through the ground at a shallow depth. It leaves raised earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. No nickname, but we should get some extra watts uh, sent to, to a box. Okie doke. And we gained 190 watts. So, let's go to our Pokemon. Swap dot for Biggie again. And let's go down this way. Okay, there's a Pokeball over here. It's two super potions, not bad. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. He's so smug. Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Oh yeah, we have a wishing star, don't we? Isn't that the thing that makes our Pokemon get big? All right, well, can I go around you? <laughs> I'll just try to go around him. Nope, not happening. Oh, he's got the hair sway and everything. You, you're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. We'll have to see about that. <laughs> I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. We'll see about that. Oh, he's got a good song. This is Pokemon Trainer Bead? I guess his name's Bead, or Bede. I'm not sure, I think it's Bead. He's gonna send out Solosis. What is this thing? I don't know what's covered in goo. Okay, let's kick it. <laughs> what in doubt, just go ahead and kick it. What in the world is it supposed to be? I don't know, but that wasn't very effective. Not very effective. So that rolls out a couple of options. Oh, I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine, that's all. Use Endeavor. Oh, 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 ah, yikes. Was that super effective? No? What is this thing? Whoa, that was good. That was real good. All right, see ya. So, Solosis was defeated. And we gained some experience. Not a huge ton, but Chudo got a level up. Gathita. I wanna keep with the Pokemon I have because I have no clue what Gathita is. Keep current Pokemon. <laughs> That's sort of the hard part about a new generation. I just don't know. Oh, wow. You're very weird. I mean, cute, but also not what I was expecting. Okay. Well, let's try double kicking against you. Oh, not much. You have to be like a dark psychic or something. Not very effective. Hit two times. They use tickle. Oh, that's weird. Um, our attack fell, defense fell. Fight, let's use flame charge. It's a really good move. It seems to help us a lot. Good enough to get us a little bit farther. And our speed rose, they're gonna use tickle again. It doesn't really do much damage. And I don't think it does any damage. All it does is lower our attack and a defense, but that's fine. We should still have enough attack and defense to use Flame Charge one more time and get rid of Gothita. All right, very curious to see what her evolution is. But for right now, that is another round one. And we get a level up for Biggie, good job. Hatena, switch your Pokemon, keep my current, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what these Pokemon are. Oh dear, what have I been doing? Well, whatever. Let's see what you've got, I think that said. Uh, what are these things? I've never seen any of these before. Um, once again, I think this is a bad idea. I like how it was like a dynamic pose there, but the one Pokemon was too short, you couldn't even see. Okay, um, use confusion. Oh, oh, not good, not good. Okay, so we'll quickly try flame charge. Oh, nice! This is getting very dangerous. She's gonna try to confuse us again. It does a very slight amount of damage as well. 
but it didn't actually confuse us. Flame Charge is gonna save us, right? I have to switch Pokemon after this. I don't know how many he has, but that's the third one done. And that's level for Dot. Very cool, she's level 21 now. And we defeated him. All that talk for nothing? I see, well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying it all that hard anyway. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for the money. I like your outfit. <gasps> oh! What? Biggie is evolving? I have no clue what he's gonna look like. I hope he's still just as dashing. Wow, look at him! He's got a little mustache. <laughs> he looks like a little bandit. Your Biggie evolved into Thievel. Ah, that is so Biggie. That is so Biggie. Thievel's data will be added to the Pokedex. This is a fox Pokemon dark type with a lithe body and sharp claws. It goes around stealing food and eggs. Boltund is its natural enemy. Oh man, <laughs> I love him. He wants to learn the move Thief. Um, Let's forget an old move. Ah, oh, he's becoming such a man now. He's all grown up. So this is Thief, it's a dark type move. It has the power of 60 and the accuracy of 100. The user attacks and steals the target's held item simultaneously. The user can't steal anything if it already holds an item. That sounds cool. So I think that might be better than say, Hone Claws. At the same time, that could be good. The user gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater the number of attacks. I don't really know, because I like a lot of these. Because Snarl's been pretty good for us. I think I'm gonna get rid of Snarl, though. We'll try it, we'll see how it goes. I think there's a guy I can talk to to get old moves back if it goes wrong. Um, one, two, and ta-da! Biggie forgot Snarl, and it learned Thief instead. All right, well, Biggie's getting bigger. I like it. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you, and, and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. All right, well. I guess he's out to get all the wishing stars then. Which I'm sure isn't a very good thing. Oh, here's an item. A bag of stars. How, much, how funny would it be if that was right there, a wishing star? He's just really bad at finding them. Okay, well, I guess we made our way outside of the cave and we're heading to Route 4 now. That's cool. Oh, hello. Will you heal me and my team? Hiya, me and my big sister have set ourselves up as a pop-up Pokemon customer service, or center service. Uh, not that we asked anyone if we could or should. You've done a good job making it this far. I'll heal your team up for you. Thank you. Your sister was very helpful as well. Once you get through Galar Mine, you're out on Route 4 and nearly to Turfield. You're almost there, Gym Challenger. All right, well, let's keep making our way out. This area is nice and open. I might go and camp myself, but at the same time, if there's people to talk to. Hi, camping with your Pokemon, playing together, cooking together. These are all great ways to become closer with your Pokemon. You're welcome to stop by my camp too, if you'd like. I would love to. Uh, you found Molly's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Absolutely. So who do we got over here? Hi guys. Um, Hey, wait, that's not a Pokemon. Good afternoon, this is Susan. To put it simply, Pikastu is, it's quick-tempered. Pikastu? Okay, context please, what's a Pikastu? Hey, can I talk to you? Good afternoon, your dad is playful. Of course she is. She's the most playful there is. Uh, hi Dot. Dot seems to be worried about his surroundings. Let's chat. That looks like it wants a lot of attention. Tell me more. <laughs> that looks like it wants to play with other Pokemon. Go play, go play. I like how she says that, she's just like all chill with her hands in her pockets. That's so not. Uh, woo me, oh yeah, that's right, because they all have their own custom names here. Woo me looks like it's enjoying camping. Go play. Okay. Oh, I wanna say hi to the Pikachu. If they'll come over, that is. Hey, come over. Yeah, you, come on over. Uh, what are you? Bombi. Looks like it wants to play a lot. Uh, go play though. Yeah, <laughs> here's some very cute Pokemon. I mean, you look like a Frisbee, but I, I think it looks cool. This is bronze is a bit hesitant. Let's chat. So about this new place, tell me more. Looks like he wants to play with other Pokemon. Go ahead and do so. What about the Pikachu? Yeah, I wanna talk to the Pikachu and see what name they, she gave the Pikachu. Yep, come on over. Hi. 
Picasso. Okay, this is Picasso. Uh, go play. So I don't know what she was trying to say over here. Picasso is cool, isn't it? Yes. And you're Eevee. <laughs> I got it. Pikachu and Eevee. All right, then we'll leave Molly's camp for right now. Oh, looks like Molly and Susan are having a good time. Uh, camp with your Pokemon. Okay, they don't have anything else to say. Uh, so that looks like everything over here. But what's going on to the right? I always saw an Eevee in there. Or maybe that was a child dressed up as an Eevee. I don't know, we'll find out later. All right, now let's shake this tree. And I know that if we shake it enough, a Pokemon might pop out. Honestly, that's just as interesting to me as the tree dropping berries. So, oh, oh, here we go. What do we end up getting? It's, okay, is this the same Squovit? Is it ever not Squovit? I don't know. Uh, but for right now, we should be able to deal with you at Squovit. Super effective double kick. You're in trouble. And one more time. Oh, almost, but not quite. Darn. We hit two times, use tackle. That's not that big of a deal. Won't do much. And let's get you. Boom. Okay, see ya. So we hit that Pokemon one more time, or one time and it fainted. So looks like we almost got a level up for Corvus Squire. So we've got two evolutions in today's episode, that's great. Oh, they took all of the berries away? That's a shame. Last time that didn't happen that way. Yeah, it's it's a little kid dressed up as a Pokemon. I thought I saw an Eevee here before, but I guess not. I'm doing special training while camping to train my Pokemon. The finishing touch will be a battle with you. Let's see about that. Pokemon breeder, Jame. Is it Jame or Jam? Jamie? I guess Jamie. Wow, what in the world is this? Was that a Meowth? It's sort of like Meowth, but different. It's Meowth, all right. I guess this is Galarian Ma Meowth? I've never seen this before, but this is super effective against you. You are very interesting. You have like a big beard. <laughs> okay, Um. I guess we flinched there. Why is Flame Charge super effective against it? Boom. There we go. I didn't realize that Meowth was weak to fire. I don't think they typically are. Maybe this is like a different typing as well. Very weird. But we gained experience. That's a level 18 for Jazzy and level 19 for Corpus Squire and level 17 for Wulu. C dot. Okay, let's keep with what we have then because fire will be good against C dot, I can assume. And yeah, we haven't seen you. You're so adorable. You're a little seed, but obviously seed was in its name, so I guess it was going to be some kind of plant. Boom. See ya. Sorry, C dot. I wonder if they evolve into a tree. <laughs> they have to, they're like an acorn. Okay, and that'll be level 13 for Toodle. That's nice to see. Slowly catching up with that. Butterfree. You know what? Butterfree should be a flying type. Let's try Jazzy a little bit. Like a flying bug type, so lightning should be good. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, Butterfree is a part of the original 150 Pokemon. Let's use Nuzzle, it's our only lightning type move. We need to change that at some point. We avoided the attack, good job, Jazzy. Does Jazzy evolve? I would hope so. It's super effective, it just doesn't do much, but you're paralyzed, which is very good. Fight. Let's do it again, Nuzzle. Uh, There we go. Oh, I guess they were paralyzed if they couldn't use their move. Okay, more than halfway there. String shot, oh gosh. Oh. What did that do? Speed harshly fell, so she might be able to attack first this time. But it can't move because it's paralyzed. Okay, that's good for us. Use Nuzzle again. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. Maybe we should use something else to sound like bite. Use the potion. Oh no, seriously? Oh, come on. Maybe I should've just, I don't know. But if it's if it's a flying bug, wouldn't flying also be good against it? String, or yeah, string shot again. So our speed's gonna fall one more time. Maybe I should just use Nuzzle. I'm thinking I should just use Nuzzle. We are going to bite though. Come on. Use this again. Confusion, oh no, now it's not time to be confused. Jazzy's already confused most of the time as it is. Okay. 
Well, we got it. Was that the only po Do you have another Pokemon? Whoa, lots of experience that time. I wonder why. And we defeated Breeder Jamie. I was sure my Pokemon were in top condition. Well, I mean, they were. It's just not against me. My special training. I played and ate so much tasty food, and it didn't even work? Well, did you do all that with your Pokemon? Oh, is this whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this thing? I have never seen this. This is Electrike. It's like a dog, sort of. Okay, if it's electric, I don't think that any of this is gonna do too much to it. Okay, that's lowering it a good chunk. I think I could use a Pokeball against it right now. Thunder Wave. Whoa. Unable to move because we're paralyzed. Okay, we will use a normal Pokeball and see if that does what we need it to do. Come on. I sure hope so. Very interesting Pokemon. Yeah, we got him. So Electrike was caught. I have not seen that one ever before. Gain experience. Oh, getting closer to level 14 with the Toodle. So I think I'll go ahead and rename the Pokemon later in today's episode. Uh, this is a lightning Pokemon, electric type. Uh, it stores electricity in its fur. It gives off sparks from all over its body in seasons when the air is dry. Okay, no nickname for you, I'm sorry. Very curious to see what your evolutions are, though. Uh, oh, there's another. <laughs> okay, I can't fight you yet. I gotta, what, what's going on in here? I don't even know. It's another one. <laughs> it's Yamper again. Are these guys higher level than Jazzy are? I don't think so. Fight. Okay, we'll just double kick. Oh, we're still paralyzed. Oh man, I thought that was something that would end with the first one. <laughs> I don't know, that's how it worked in Let's Go, right? But I guess the status elements stick now. Let's run, can we run? Got away safely. Cause I didn't want to do that, I wanted to uh, battle you. <laughs> what do you think? I look just like a Pikachu, right? I honestly thought you were like a Pikachu or an Eevee before, so yeah. Wow, look at you. Poke Kid Shane. Poke Kid Sh Shane sent out Pikachu. Go on, Dot, I know you can do it. Okay, so this stuff will be fine. We'll use Flame Charge, because it's just a really good move. So of course, you know, surprise, surprise. Whoa, what in the world? That was crazy. And we're still paralyzed, my gosh. Okay, let's go to our bag. We have to have like a paralysis thing. Um, awakening, super potion, fresh heal, soda pop, lemonade. Maybe we don't. Hold on, hold on. Antidote? That's poison. Burn, frozen, sleep. We don't have anything for specifically. Huh, no, we're paralyzed here. I just, I passed it multiple times. Weird, I guess because I, I figured it went why would revive be in tw between both of those things? Who knows? But we use it. And you're using Electro Ball again. This is ridiculous. Very painful too, don't paralyze me again. Okay, Flame Charge, here we go. We have a six level advantage on you. You'd think this would do something worth our while. Uh, and it did, okay. Sort of, are you at like, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it just took a moment. And that's a level up for Toodle. Great, almost a level up for uh, some of our other Pokemon. Toodle learn Protect, that's cool. I wonder if we did Poke Kid Chain. Pika! <laughs> okay, so I guess he only had that one Pokemon. Oh, what else do you have to say? I thought it'd be a really good strategy to distract you by having you think both the trainer and the Pokemon were Pikachu. Honestly, that sounds very dangerous. I don't want you getting hurt. Uh, I don't want the Pokemon getting hurt either. But I feel like they're more well equipped. Uh, I found three nest balls. There's like a lot to explore around here. What are you? I don't know, but we're gonna battle you. This is Pumpkaboo. You are cute. You are really cute. I wanna catch you. Let's try Flame Charge. Uh, No, no, Pumpkaboo, I'm sorry. It's a critical hit. That's not what I wanted, darn. If that was like a part flying type, that could have been a good candidate for being becoming Shawnee, but I don't know. We got a level up for Jazzy though, that's always nice to see. I hope we run into another Pumpkaboo soon. Oh, wait, 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 I, I got an item before the Yamper. Oh, okay, rare candy, a candy that is packed with energy when consumed, it will instantly raise the level of a single Pokemon by one. 
Oh, there's another poke pumpkin boo. Pumpkaboo. I definitely need to catch you. So this time, try to be a bit more careful. Maybe I'll just use Ember. Frisk. And found, oh, it found, it found our charcoal. Okay, now we need to get you. Let's use our Ember. But we're paralyzed again! Oh my gosh, this is just a tough run so far for Dot. Okay, we're being seeded. I mean, that stinks, but not actually gonna do anything for the pump kaboo. They're at full health. Oh, uh, okay, good, good, good. They're going to use Leaf Seed again, but it failed! Excellent, but it didn't fail. It clearly did not just fail, look at that. Oh. Wait, what? Oh yeah, come on, what is going on here? You can't say it failed and then it works. Or maybe because it lasts for several turns or something? I don't know, I'll we'll just catch this pump kaboo. Come on, come on, I need my charcoal back. Yes, okay, pump kaboo is gone. So, your Pokemon gain experience points, that'll be level 19 for Biggie, very nice, and level 22 for Dot. Okay. So let's see Pumpkaboo. Uh, it's a ghost grass type, wasn't expecting that. Super adorable. Um, average size. Is there above and below average size? The light that streams out of out from the holes in the pumpkin can hypnotize and control the people and Pokemon that see it. Wow. Uh, interesting, that's for sure. Uh, we'll send you to a box. So that's another Pokemon captured, another new one. I know we passed an item over here. Two doses of energy powder, a very better, better medicinal powder can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. Okay, so speaking of restoring things to Pokemon, um, first off, a potion for you would be great. Uh, maybe even another one. There we go, you're back up the full. No, that's not what I meant to do. Whoops, that's fine though. You guys can use some heals. Let's unparalyze you. And then we can see what other Pokemon are around, I guess. Okay, that's another one of the dogs. I see this trainer. I would love to go for you in a second. Oh, you're new. You're the beard meow Meowth. Look at you. <laughs> oh, you're great. You're like a giant wildebeest. Except you're very small. Okay, so I gotta be very careful here. I don't wanna use something too super effective, you know? Let's see this. I don't think this will be enough to get rid of you in one hit. Please don't be. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> oh well. Because I'm very curious to see what the typing you are. I guess Dot doesn't know her own strength. Uh, Another one of the pumpkin boos and a Pokeball. Thank you. This is a cleanse tag, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It helps keep wild Pokemon away if the holder is the head of the party. Okay, hold on, item. Whoa, that is for real an Eevee. Okay, I got an ether. Let's fight the Eevee. I can't believe it. Wait, what? That's not an Eevee. Okay, now I'm very confused. <laughs> what, maybe there were two Pokemon there at once? Maybe this, maybe I'm going crazy. Maybe it was all a Mirage. This is not very effective as a problem. I might just have to switch Pokemon. Not very effective. They're going to use Payday. Ow, that's not very effective. Um, fight. You know what, yeah, let's, let's switch Pokemon. Yeah, we'll just use Nuzzle. If we could paralyze you, that'd be fantastic. Dot, come back, we'll send Jazzy out. And I'm really looking forward to Jazzy learning more moves because Nuzzle's just not enough. What is that? Okay, well that just upped your attack. And your accuracy. That's not good. Well, let's try this out. They're going to use Payday. Ouchie. And. Oh. It's something, but now they're paralyzed, which is what I'm looking for. And if we could just keep nuzzling you until you're in a little bit of a lower fraction of health, that would be great. There it goes. They use Growl. That's fine. Well, that do lower damage. Yep, our attack. Try this again. Oh, you're in the yellow. I think that if we hit you one more time, that would be good. You're gonna send coins flying everywhere, as you do. Oh, 
Okay, so that's good. I think we'll be good to do to uh, throw out the Pokeball now and catch this very peculiar Meowth. Because we already had the normal Meowth. I think the game gave it to us as a special gift, right? All right, let's use this Pokeball. Come on, what do we get? I mean, hopefully, can we get it? I know what we're getting. <laughs> Whoa, it did not put on much of a fight. Just like one time, one little shake. Usually takes three. I, I don't think we've seen that before. Anyways, a little bit more experience, but more importantly, we have caught a Galarian Meowth. No nickname. Wait, it doesn't even give me a description. See now summary. You're a steel type. That is, why are you a steel type? <laughs> I don't understand. Um. Okay. Huh. That is very interesting. But it's under the same Pokedex number as a normal Meowth, even though it's totally, basically a different Pokemon. Oh, there's, the, get the Eevee. Get the Eevee. I thought I'd saw an Eevee before, and then I thought I got fooled by the Pikachu boy. Let's get Eevee, for sure. So let's fight. And for right now, we will do, let's do just Ember. I think Ember will be fine. I don't wanna overdo it here, is the problem. Pretty good. I'm a little worried that if I do that again, it might be too much, so I might just do a quick attack next. Our attack fell. Still don't wanna risk it. Just use quick attack, boom. Nice, that's a, that's a good health area, I think. So. Get the Pokeballs out. We are starting to run low on these. We only have six left, so I just gotta be careful. What do we get? I mean, do we get it? I know what we're getting. I don't know, it's not a surprise. It's not a mystery. I already know. <laughs> All right, well, Eevee's been caught. That's awesome. Getting a lot of cool Pokemon today. And Wulu goes level 18, and Cheetle gets to level 15. Awesome. So. Eevee's data will be added to the Pokedex evolution Pokemon. Uh, thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. Uh, no nickname, but uh, good to have it. Uh, we will send you to a box. And let's keep looking around. Whoa, who's over there? Another Meowth, okay. I don't really mind too much if we don't end up getting you. But I will just take you out real quick. Because you're a seal type, you're weak both the fire and fighting. There we go, and one more kick. Should do it. Oh, Moe's, you're kidding me. They're going to use Scratch. Poor Dot, <laughs> can never get out of anything unscathed. Use this double kick again. This route is taking us a while to get through, <laughs> longer than I was expecting. I mean, I'm really trying to explore and find whatever I can. It's always fun to do that. More experience. So what was that Pokemon over that way? Oh, it was just a Punkaboo. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanna find in this little corner. And I've already gone back this way, run into the school that stole my berries. Oh, oh, oh. A dose of energy powder, that's cool. Must not be a new item, because it didn't tell me anything about it. And there's a couple things going on around here. First off, another thing by the wheelbarrow, and the Eevee. <laughs> Boy, we, we send the, oh, actually, Eevee girl. We saw the Pikachu boy before. Okay, now I say a wild Pokekid has appeared. Okay, do that. <laughs> I like her pose. Pokekid Sunny. And she sent out Milsery. Whoa, it's like milk. That's weird. Um, I have no clue what type of Pokemon that is, but when in doubt, use Flame Charge. Whoa! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, wh what are you gonna throw out next? Do you have anything else? That was it. They don't even have an Eevee. Oh, it's already over. Why are you so excited about that? I don't know. Maybe she just likes a good battle. Uh, I dress like this because I want to understand the feelings of Pokemon. Well, you're on your way. Um, so there's some Diglets around here. What is that? What is that? They're getting to Meowth. It's always so hard to tell when they're in the tall grass like that. Uh, and we found a pile of silver powder, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a shiny silver powder that will boost the power of bug type moves. Oh, it's another Yamper. <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa, hold on. 
an energy root, an extremely bitter medicinal root that can be used to restore 120 HP to a single Pokemon. Wow, wait, that's a lot. So I'm just sort of looking around to see what else might pop up. If it's nothing new, I'd like to move forward. It's not looking like anything I haven't seen. So going back down this way, there's a couple of things. There's another EV kid running, and then also this trainer. 50 years of raising Pokemon. Did you come to see the progress of my work? 50 years? You do not look 50 years old. It's Pokemon Breeder Bradley. If so, I need to know your skincare routine and if it applies to zebras in any fashion. Okay, so let's fight you. Neither of this is gonna be like super effective, but it'll at least be good enough. So we'll double kick you now. Wow, that actually did a good chunk of damage. Oh, nice, a critical hit right when we needed that. Sorry there, Electric. And now, what do you got next? Low Tad, oh really? I think I, know, I think that's like a toad. But is it water or is it, I think it's poison. I don't know what's good against poison. Uh, well actually is, is, is dark good against poison? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, let's just try it. Swap Pokemon with Biggie. I'm a bit concerned about this one, but we'll just try it out and see how it happens. Ah, oh, Biggie's so cool now. Oh no, I'm getting this mixed up. I'm getting this mixed up with a different Pokemon. Okay, well this won't be very good, but it won't be very bad. Let's try Thief. I mean, you don't have an item, so I guess this won't work so well, but it will do a ton of damage. They're gonna use Growl. This guy's cute, just not the Pokemon I was expecting. I forget what that Pokemon's called then. It was like a frog. Anyways, Assurance. Not bad, that's gonna be our takedown on your low tad. Now I know. And there we go, you're defeated. Well, I didn't raise him for 50 years. Glad he sort of fessed up to that lie. I see, even if Pokemon are in tip top shape, if the breeder is really just a beginner, it's tough to win. So they have been bred for 50 years, it's just you didn't do it. What's going on over here? Trainer tips, a Pokemon's moves can be physical moves or special moves. A high attack stat makes physical moves deal more damage and high special attack stat makes special moves deal more damage, gotcha. Oh, what is this? Fishing, if you see shadows in the water, you'll likely find Pokemon lurking beneath them. Face such a shadow and press the A button to cast your line and try to fish up a catch. If you're a fishing rod, press, it shakes, press A, the A button once more to reel in a Pokemon. Try fishing wherever you see, you spot these shadows. I don't think I have a fishing rod. No, I do. When did I get a fishing rod? Did I always have this? Okay. What am I getting? I'm getting something. It's a Magikarp, yeah, it's a Magikarp. You found a Lion Magikarp, very cool. Um. Okay. So double kick might not work so well on you, but I don't need to defeat you. I just need to get you low enough that I can capture you. Try that again. Excellent, that might be good enough. They're going to use Splash. Oh boy. Nothing happened, good, good, good. Uh, let's use this again. And I might try to fish a couple more times. If so, I might want to switch to Jazzy. Come on. Excellent. So Magikarp was caught. Another Pokemon for the collection. So this is gonna be a long episode because I wanted to get to the end of this route. I didn't want to go into the town. I want to save that for next episode. But Magikarp's data was added to the Pokedex. Oh, I should have read that. Um, hold on. Will it say that here anywhere? No. No, okay. We'll have to read it later. Sorry, I missed out on the, the Magikarp's description. Send you to a box though. And Pokemon, swap Pokemon with Dot. Oh, oh okay, it only gives you, gives you one chance. But there is a, a ball here. This is a sharp beak, an item to be held by a Pokemon. It's a long, sharp beak that boosts the power of flying type moves. Ooh, okay. Definitely have to put that on Shawnee. Um, for right now, 
couple of things going on. I wanna grab this item, which is Paralyzed Heal. Good, and there's another Eevee. You know, I'm tempted to catch the Eevee, because we will need multiple Eevees. If we wanna eventually, truly, catch them all and complete our Pokedex, I don't know if that's actually gonna happen for us, but if we want to, uh, I'm going to need more than one Eevee for sure. So for right now, I will use Bite. Maybe I should've paralyzed you, but we'll do that next next turn. Oh my. Won't that lower some stats? Uh, accuracy, yeah. Okay, well that's a little bit of progress. Let's do the Nuzzle. Sand attack again. How low do you want my accuracy to be? No matter how inaccurate, Jazzy will find a way to snuggle. Or Nuzzle. Ugh, avoided the attack, darn. Try again. Again? Stop doing this, I don't have to switch out Pokemon. Not good. Come on. All right, let's switch. Let's switch Pokemon to, I guess, that's super effective. I don't want it to be too effective. We'll just do Flame Charge. It's a really good move. Or maybe Ember, I don't wanna, because Flame Charge is so much damage, I'm worried it's gonna knock her out right away. Okay, they're gonna do Quick Attack, ouch. Fight, and Ember. And hopefully we can do this twice. One here and then one another time. They're doing Sand Attack and they just love this move so much, but you've only done it once on Dot, so you have a lot of work to go. Fight, Ember, go for it. Ouch. Come on, use that Ember. Avoided the attack, stop doing that. Okay, maybe now is just good enough to catch with the Pokeball. I really hope, because if not, I'm in trouble. Come on. No, darn it, almost had it. Can you stop with that? Over and over again, sand everywhere. Okay, using quick attack again. I feel so bad for Dot right now. Please land, please land, please land. Stop doing that, that is so frustrating. All right, Biggie, finish her off. Well, not finish her, but you know, get her low enough that we can just catch her. I don't even know if this is worth it right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, you're gonna use Tail Whip. What does that do? Lowers our defense. Fight, and then let's just use Let's use Assurance. Oh, come on, all that work for nothing. Of course that had to be a critical. Think he can't do anything without showing off. <laughs> Anyways. That didn't work out, but we can at least get an item here. This is the Revival Herb. A terribly bitter medicinal herb. Everything's bitter. It revives a fainted Pokemon and re fully re re restores its HP. That's good. A couple more Meowths running around. I don't need more than one of those. I'm an Eevee, I'm full of possibilities. That's true, because I think that there's even more than three, like in the Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, there's like, like seven or eight or something crazy like that. Okay, so obviously you actually had the Eevee. Jazzy's coming out. Just don't kick a bunch of sand at me, please. We're going to use Nuzzle. I probably should switch to Dot. But if we could get you paralyzed, I wouldn't be too bad. Okay, yep, you're paralyzed. Paralysis. Uh, Pokemon. Dot's a little low on health, but I think she 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 should be fine. Uh, oh 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 no. Tail whip. Okay, and this is your only Pokemon, so if we can get rid of it, we'll be good. This should definitely be more than enough, right? Yeah, definitely. And down you go. Okay, so we've defeated her. Well, first we gotta get experience. Level up for Jazzy, awesome. Spark, oh yes, definitely. We definitely need to learn these electric type moves. So this is, the user throws an electri electric electrically charged tackle at the target. This may also leave the target with paralysis. So definitely, let's put that over tackle. Because it's basically tackle, but better. Okay, so we forgot s tackle and learned spark. Good job, Jazzy. Okay. I'm an Eevee. I'm downhearted because I lost. I've never heard the phrase downhearted. 
But you seem so happy for being so downhearted. I'm an Eevee when I grow up. What type of Pokemon do you think I'll evolve into? Whichever one you'd strive to be. Okay, so I don't need that. I'm just sort of looking around a little bit. Oh, there's a Pikachu kid. Hi. Appearing with a Pika. Okay. Poke Kid R R Reese? R maybe Reese Rise? One of the two. Joltek. Oh, this is new. It's like a little bug electric type. Okay. I have to change up my strategy here. Um, trying to think. What's good against Bug? Flying is. Let's switch to Corvusquire, who we will rename the Shawnee. I've decided. I think that we're pretty good with what we have selected. Bug bite. Oh man. Okay, that didn't do much. But Lightning is good against Flying, so you'd think it would, but I guess not. Let's try either Peck or Pluck. Um, this is more damage, let's do pluck then. Come on. Oh, nice! But it wasn't super effective. Huh. Okay, let's try again. And we got you. Very interesting Pokemon though, super adorable. And we got a level up, Biggie's level 20, the big 2-0 as well. Grubbin. No, that sounds like a, a a bug. Oh, you are so cute. Your, your your horns are like half your body length. Fight, and let's just do pluck again. And that might even be a one hit takedown. Indeed it is. All right. And that should be a level up for Choodle and a level up for Dot, level 23 for her. Wowie. And we defeated Poke Kid Reese. I'm so downhearted. Why, why is this like the word of the day now? I don't know. I'll go take a, a, a kip and rest comfortably inside a Pokeball. Uh, all right. What do we got here? TM07 pin missile. Cool. Put that in our TM's pocket. Sharp spikes are shot at the target in rapid succession. They hit two to five times in a row. So there's another Eevee running around, but they seem to be popping up around here enough so that I feel comfortable leaving it for now. Oh gosh. I was trying to get through. It wouldn't let me. I might just run, because we need to heal for Pokemon soon anyways. What I might do is run back up the hill and get that one lady to do it for us. Might as well. You couldn't get away. Okay, do what you gotta do so that we can run away next time. Come on. Run. Yep, you got away safely, excellent. Okay, run, run, run. Go down here. And yeah, I'll be right back. I mean, actually, that might be healing center right there. Wooloo, where do you think you're going? Oh, what's happening? Bah. Is this is this Hop? No, it's not. It's whoever. Oh! Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. Who is this? Oh, this is one of the trainers. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm. Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Mil Milo. Milo, Milo? I think Milo. I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass type Pokemon. Oh, looks like we have the advantage then. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challenges are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just to head on through this route, you'll run into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep the gym challenges waiting. Ah. Uh. All right, well, thank you, Milo, for the warm welcome. That's the town we'll be entering in the next episode. But for right now, there's one thing I want to do to finish off today's episode. Um, and that is going to be renaming our Pokemon. So if I go here and go to Corva Squire. Uh, well, actually, I can't do that here. I wouldn't need to do that in the shop. So I'll do that later, I guess. Never mind. <laughs> Not doing it now. All right, then. Why well, a lot of fun. Next episode, we'll go into town and hopefully be able to battle Milo and get our first gym leader completion. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Gala or Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.